Once again, we'll begin with a few questions from the media. Jay Anderson, your line is now live. And uh, Linton, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> I want to start going back to the uh, last fight somewhat. I know you fought heavyweight prior to Bellator, but with a couple yeah. of fights under your belt now and the win over Sergey, do you really feel like you've settled in in the weight class? Yeah, I, I really do. Um, I felt like the first fight, I just came in too, too heavy, thinking, you know, the heavier you are, the, the better you are. You know, again, that's not the case because... If you've never fought at that weight and you just go into a fight like that, it's, it's totally different. You've got to think of the, obviously, the lights, the cameras, you know what I mean, the adrenaline rush, the person trying to punch and kick you, trying to move. And I felt like them extra extra pounds that I had on definitely played a factor. So I went back and I spoke to the coaches and we just said, maybe, maybe bring it back, don't come in as heavy. I walk around about 240 anyway, so why not just stay at that weight? There's no need to add on extra, extra weight. And yeah, I really feel like my performance, you know, um, showed everyone that, that I'm here to stay. And, um, you know, I'm going to prove that that wasn't a fluke. And you had the third round finish, obviously some excellent ground and pound work. Second, uh, and then second round. Second round, sorry about that. Second round, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Honey's kind of a different beast. He's got the black belt, uh, different fighter yeah. on the ground. So how do you approach this one? Again, I, 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 I'm not bothered about, about the ground game because I fought black belts before. I trained with black belts, and I'm a grappler myself. Um, so, yeah, if it goes to the ground, I'm more than happy to show him, you know, that I'm the, I'm, I'm the better grappler on the ground as well as the better striker on the feet. So I haven't got a problem with it going to the ground at all. And last one for me, uh, you know, I asked Honey this as well. Um, yeah. He missed the fans being present. What are your expectations in the empty arena? Are you looking forward to being able to hear that corner a little clearer, or are you a guy who feeds off that energy from the crowd? You know what? It is nice to have people chant in your name, but also, you know, um, at the end of the day, I feel like when you do fight, you sort of zone out anyway. Again, like the coaches shout in your name, you do hear set words, but you're in there sort of, not on your own, but you're in that sort of having tunnel vision. And it sort of ends up, you're just on autopilot a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna miss the fans, but also I feel like it's not really gonna change that much. But again, we, we will see. Steve Jewin. Thank you, Linton. We've spoken a few What's times up? before, so I feel like you're the right guy to ask this question. Gareth Davies challenged yes. me to a charity fight, your fellow countrymen. So if I needed a sparring partner, somebody in my corner, would you be available? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could do it to Gareth, though, you know? Uh, I was hoping maybe you could, but <laughs> I'll, I'll respect it, Gareth. It's nothing but love. I just like I know, I know, I know, I know. Bit. But seriously, um, though, this fight, it's uh, <laughs> you've, you've had just one opponent to train for, and that's Hani Marks, but he's yeah. trained for multiple people. So do you feel you're better prepared at this point than him? Yeah, I, I do. Um, and also, I feel like I've been more active than him, him as well. You know, um, he, yeah, he's had, I think, three different opponents. Um, but now I'm obviously going to be his fourth. But yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm more prepared than him. And I feel like it will show, show on the night as well. I know you just mentioned that beating Sergey wasn't a fluke, but what does it mean to you not just to get a win over Sergey, but to get a win over Hani and really say, I'm here to stay at heavyweight? Exactly. You took the words out of my mouth. That's exactly the statement I'm going to make. I'm here to stay. You know, um, some people may think it was a fluke and, and whatever, but I had, I had the right game plan, the, the right mindset. I knew what to do and, and I... Um, had the right game plan and I executed it right. So a big win over Ronnie will show people that I'm either next or one more fight to fight for that title. Gareth? <laughs> What's up, mate? <laughs> yeah, this is London calling, Linton. How are London's you? London's calling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you decided not to go into the corner of Steve Juon. Hey, see, I, I didn't even know he was online. There we go, man. Yeah, My allegiance. It, <laughs> it might be in the bar, but whatever. <laughs> it might be in the bar, yeah? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's lovely to see you, mate. You look so well. But I, I, every time I look at you now, 
I can't believe you made 205. And when you look back on it now, do you do the same thing? Yes. I look at myself and I'm like, what did I do? I look like a stick action figure. It's, um, and it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice cutting that weight. Mm. Um, but I mentioned to the other guys in the other room, um, just interviewed us then, I had such a good run at light heavyweight. Like, I fought some of the best, beat some of them, lost to some of them, had two title fights. Um, so that's why I felt like I, I kept at it. It was the... It was that hunt for like heavyweight, but yeah, now at heavyweight, I, I do think to myself, why'd I do that to myself? But again, we're here now, we're at heavyweight and I feel good, I feel amazing. You look amazing as well. Thank um, you. It, 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 it's a weird thing though, isn't it? That psychologically, it's not just you, there are so many fighters in yeah. boxing, in MMA, yeah. who realize in the end there is a weight they should be at and you could yeah. might be 510 mike tyson was 510 in the heavyweight division yeah I'm crazy so, crazy yeah but it's his skill set so yeah you've got this, you, you, i mean you, you're happier i mean is it better do you find it's better being happier in fight week yeah as, and all of that? yeah because it, it's stressful people don't people that don't fight it's it's different. You don't understand the the stress you get. You're like, oh, it's fight week, damn. And you've got all these things going through your head. You don't, you don't want to get knocked out. You don't want to lose. You don't want to get embarrassed. All these things, just being human. Um, so, yeah, being able, and obviously cutting weight, it's, you can't eat. You know what I mean? You can't drink. You know what I mean? People are talking to you and you get a bit antsy and a bit agitated. You know, you can't do certain things. At heavyweight, I can still eat, go to bed with a full belly, drink as much water as I like. You know what I mean? The, the energy is so much better. And even in, in the training, in the training room, I can actually give my all rather than um, cutting weight and not be able to punch the, the, the pads properly or kick properly or, or do like a sprawl. So um, it's, it's so much better. For people that, that are thinking of doing it, I would definitely suggest give it, give it a go, you know. If um, you want them per people that are cutting so much weight and, and feeling horrible, you know, when it comes to, to fight day or cut the, um, the weight cut day, then, then definitely give it a try. And finally, Linton, before Dan cuts me off. Um, <laughs> well, cut me off. I'm the one rambling. <laughs> um, it, 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 no. basically, um, I know you've got to get through Ronnie Marks on, on Thursday. Yeah. And he's, you're yeah. both formidable fighters. Um, uh, will you not be content in your career unless you have a run at the title in Bellator and that you at least fight for it, if not win it? Yeah, of course not. Of course not. My my passion is to win that. You know, what I mean, I know I know I can do it. You know, and I feel like we have we have these life lessons. You know, I had my try like heavyweight. Okay, it didn't work. I'm not going to go home and cry about it and and stop. Now I found a new life. I feel feel so much better at heavyweight. You know. Um, so yeah, again, I'm going to give it a run at heavyweight, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I won't be content. Definitely not. If if you know, I don't win. Jim? Linton, where did you train for this fight and who trained you in this one? Um, so I was at Sanford MMA, my, my gym back up in, um, up in Florida. Um, I had a, quite, quite a lot of um, people help me for, for this camp. Um, form, not former, but um, Steve Marry is he, a, a contender. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? He actually fights for Bellator himself, so he's an athlete, signed, signed athlete to the roster. Um, well, I can't think of any names. Ong Lang Sang is, is in my corner. Um, AJ Rumble Johnson, Victor Pesta. Um, the, the list goes on. So I've had um, a good, good um, training partners. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready for this. And you mentioned South uh, Florida and Sanford MMA. I'm in South Florida, and I'm just curious, yeah. what is it like there at Sanford MMA? It's just South Florida in general. There's so much MMA talent training in this area. Yeah, we're, we have the best gym. Again, we have Henry Hooft, we have Greg Jones, we have Cami Barzan, we have Corey Peacock. Um, we have a solid um, team and a solid, solid coaches. And it's one of the best teams in the world. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I made the move, you know. Um, from where I was training in England, I just didn't have the training partners. 
here I have everyone from all over the world. So I'm, I'm more than happy that I made the move and it's one of the best gyms in the world, again, as I just said. And lastly, from me in South Florida, what is it like in the winters down here for you compared to England? It's still cold. <laughs> it is still cold. Like I think I'm used to having that 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 Florida weather. So when when it goes below like 75, like I'm I'm a bit disappointed, you know. But um, you know, I'm going back to England soon for a little while. Um, so I think I'll be staying indoors for that. Thank you. No worries. Donna. Hi, Lyndon. How's it going? How you doing? I'm good. Uh, not too bad. So talk to me about Ronnie Marks. Whereabouts, like you fought the absolute creme de la creme of, of Bellator's light heavyweights of heavyweights. Yeah. Where does, where does he rank in terms of, of, of the people you're, you're going to have stepped in there with? Um, he, he's up there. He's, he's up there. I wouldn't say he's, he's in the, in the, in the top on the rank out of 10. He's not in the, in the top eight. Again, that's no disrespect to him because I fought some world champions. Um, but yeah, he's up there. He's up there. And again, he's going to bring it. I know he's not coming to, to lay down and make it an easy night for me. And like you've kind of alluded to before, this is very much a, a fight to secure your spot in the, the heavyweight division and show people that, that you're, you're there to stay. Where does it put you in the ranks? It looks like, um, like Tim Johnson is going to be the next uh, contender, the next number one. Where, where do you see yourself in, in the division, supposing you win on Thursday night? So I was speaking speaking about this. So I feel like there's, well, other than the champion, I feel like there's two people above me, which mm -hmm. is, as I said, you mentioned Tim Johnson and then Modoski, and I feel like I'm right, I'm right there underneath because I lost to Modoski, and Tim's on a two fight winning streak. Um, so that's that's exactly where I feel like I am, and a big win over Ronnie. I'd like to fight one of them too next, and then you know get, get that title fight. Last one from me. You're a, a great British fighter. Uh, this weekend, history is being made in in British boxing. Anthony Joshua fights your fellow yeah. Brit, your fellow heavyweight, and now your fellow heavyweight, right? Um, yeah. And for the first time since March, there will be fans at a at a fight event in in the UK. What's your prediction for uh, for Saturday night's event? Yeah, I'm going to go for my my boy AJ. You know, he's going to represent just like me. Lenny. Sorry about that. How's it going, Lenny? So, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good. Lenny Marsh from MA Unhinged here. We've spoke quite a bit, and uh, MK stand up. You know, MK come from MK from a small city, and now you're fighting on the biggest stages in better. So it makes me so happy to see you up there, especially from somebody who's in the Thank you. City. It's incredible. MK tree, over, yeah. Over a <laughs> year. Uh, yeah. Bletchley, to be precise, come on. So we're talking about Bletchley. No one will know what we're talking about, Bletchley. <laughs> What's Bletchley? No. <laughs> <laughs> so over a year away out of the cage now, I can presume yeah. it's been frustrating to not being able to fight. You no, know, it, it has been most frustrating. Um, again, with no injuries. But the good thing about it, I've been able to constantly train um, and up my level. So, you know, in, in a way, I've took, I've took a big blessing out of that. Yeah, you kind of uh, recapped earlier about sound for the MMA. You said yeah, Gilbert Burns, you're on a roll at the moment. You've got Mario yeah. at the moment. He's yeah. making waves in their better tour. And you said, most importantly, your Jamaican brother, uh, Jason Jackson, he's Jason doing Jackson. immense at the moment in Bellator. Tour. Yeah, Jason, yeah. Bun, uh, yeah. he's doing immense at the moment in Bellator. Tour. How far is he off a title shot? Um, I would like to say he's probably got a good another two or maybe three fights, I would like to say. Uh, I wouldn't like to rush Jason myself. Um, he's an amazing athlete, an amazing friend as well. But I'd say another good three three big wins, you know. And like, if performance is like he did against um, Benson, then yeah, give, give him a title fight, you know. But I think three more and Jason's ready. Yep, just is a tar of fortune he fought the other week and he, and he got on the mic and said that you two were meant to fight could you tell me where that fight went and why did one didn't go to plan um so i was offered like four other other opponents before tyrone um and then just came to the point they were like we've got no one but tyrone I was like all right let's just do it and then um i got a call to fight sergey or yeah, Sergey again, and then I was like, I've already fought him, so what's the, why am I going to fight him again? It wasn't even close. So then they offered that to him, that didn't happen, and then they were like, oh, we've got Ronnie Marks for you. Because I think Ronnie was supposed to fight Sergey first, 
And then, you know, something, something happened. I think get the, and I think Ronnie couldn't get the visa or something. And then, yeah, that's how it happened. It's one of them ones, you know. All right, Len, good luck this week. No worries, thank you.